All right, we are back with the FlightScope Mevo Plus, and today I'm going to try to push the unit a little bit by attempting to hit out of simulated uh, rough and sand. I guess I should make sure this is down and flat all the way. Um, I don't have these glued down because that way, I, you know, just in case I can move it. Really, I should just get some double-sided tape and get them down, which I, uh, I should do that now if I'm going to start using them. Um, I play with them here and there, but I uh, haven't really with the Mevo Plus at all, because really I'm going to be pushing the unit for many reasons. One, I, ha I have mine lined up just off-center, kind of bringing it towards the tee a little bit, um, because I can hit my irons and putter right from there, and it just brings it a little bit closer to where I hit my driver. So I have not moved the unit at all, and now I'm going to be hitting it over on this side, um, let alone we're going to be hitting it out of uh, some rough and sand here. Um, I would assume it's going to be off center a little bit, so I would think the ball might take off a little bit off center. I, I don't know how that works. Um, I guess that's why we're here to, to mess around with it and see. Um, so I'm playing with a Pro V1 with a dot on it still. I have a 58 degree wedge, and we'll just attempt to get this thing kind of flopped up there 31 yards. It's going to take a lot more than that to get it up near the pin. It obviously looks like it's reading it fine. That's pretty cool. I'm going to go with less of a flop shot and a little more of a... Uh, I've got that thing so far forward. A little more of a normal forward stance chip here. if it got some spin on that. So I was able to read spin, which the ball's still spinning. Um, that whole shot though looked very accurate in my opinion. Um, just looking here, backspin, ball speed, launch. I mean, it appears to be working well. I know I had, I mean, I had several people say, what is this, you know, and then once I told a few people what it was, they were like, well, can you hit out of it, you know? Um, I don't know if they realized that, you know, that's for the HD Golf Simulator, but um, it's clearly working on Mevo Plus. <laughs> wow. Very cool. I am hitting, <clears throat> I'm swinging and hitting that a little bit harder than I normally would off the mat. I mean, if I did that same swing off the mat, it'd be past the pin because I'm hitting those, you know, bristles first and uh, it really slows your club down. Um, so, I mean, it's like a sim simulated penalty, essentially. Um, and I'm pushing it down in there, you know, halfway, so I'm not giving myself a nice, uh, a nice little, I mean, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll attempt, I'll set it way up on top like this. And I can try to get under it, and we'll try to do like a super high spin and see what happens. I'll watch, I'll probably go under it and the ball won't move. The only thing I'm noticing here is, is, I mean, it looked like that ball went a little higher than the launch. So I wonder how much higher up the green it is, or if it's having a little more difficult time reading it over here. Oh no, I guess it, it's six feet up. So even if I if I lifted that thing up, you know, uh, on the screen, you know, six, seven feet, that's only level to the green. Okay, so that's obviously uh, taking off quite a bit. I'll bury it back down about halfway again. Keep putting it really far forward. And we'll try to do another normal shot here. Very cool. I'll tell you what I'll try to do now. Now you guys have seen the data and how it's reacted hitting it out of there. Why don't we hit a few off of the mat? Watch, now I'm probably going to stripe one over the green, hitting it different. Still six feet uphill though, so you really have to kind of play for that. I'm going to hit, I'm going to try to do a similar swing just to see the difference. Okay, 
So I'd assume that would have a little higher spin off of it. I mean, I did hit a little behind the ball. Well, there you go. Spin was a thousand higher or over a thousand higher with a, a similar shot. So it's, you know, you're getting less spin out of that, you know, the bristles because you're hitting behind and, uh, or whatever you want to call it. I mean, I would call them bristles. That's what they are. It's like almost like a, a, a you know, a plastic, I don't want to say plastic, but some type of, you know, fiberglass plastic, um, you know, that they try to make the best they can. It has to be durable, obviously. All right, let's try to do one more here. I'll tell you what, I'll try to, I'm gonna try to get this one a little higher. See if we can get more spin on this. There we go. Oh, I was just gonna say, where's that E6 action, you know, with the higher spins? I felt like I tried to hit one of those out of there, but it didn't really launch out well. Okay, 68.77. Let's try to do one more out of here. Now, you know, I'll do, I'll do the same thing. I'll do where I'm like way up on top of it, and I'll try to, uh, I'll try to hit like a heavy shot, you know, or a harder shot. I really should say, but oh man, it just, it just takes it away from you when you hit down on that. You can even see, like I said, I really should put some double-sided tape down here. Um, they stay quite well, but if I'm going to play out on a bunch, it's so easy to get some double-sided tape. But see the spin, significantly lower. So, you know, it, uh, it's really penalizing you coming out of there. So, um, I don't really think there's anything else uh, to show you. Um, I mean, I can hit one more normal chip, um, and what we'll do is we'll just... We'll hit one lower. Um, I'm giving a different angle than I had before. I'm going uh, where my I have swing cameras uh, face on and behind, so I just kind of have my my uh, camera set up uh, where my swing camera is. Let's try to de loft this thing and uh, keep it low and see what happens. It should roll way out. Oh, that's probably way too hard. Yeah, it checked up a little bit. It was a decent, decent strike, so it probably had some decent spin. 55.09. Gives you a good idea there. Um, let's do one more though. So let's try to, I'll try to soften that up a little bit, and uh, we'll do another. I mean, I'm, I'm still getting it up over that hill. I wonder if we just hit one low, if it would just go right into that that mound and it would read it right. Let's see. Let's try to hit one real low. I really should be hitting something. I've I'm, I'm got my 58 like leaned all the way forward here. Oh, I still made it over. But you can see how it barely made it over. Okay, why don't we grab a 50 just because it will be so easy to keep it low. And we'll just try to punch it forward and see if uh, that collision happens with the front there. I'm still making it over. That's funny. That's awfully forgiving. I mean, I guess it says that it's six feet up on the green. Because, I mean, the, it seems like the Mevo Plus is actually reading it, you know, quite well. It's just that it's, this must only be a few feet, and then you've got several more feet, you know, as it goes up the green, so. All right, one more Super Lotus to see if we can smack the front there and see what happens. Also testing the Nevo on a super low shot. Look how low that was. I mean, that probably came off the ground, I don't know, what is that, two, three feet? I'm still making it over top. I love how the Miko can read these low chips, though. I mean, that is a super low chip. I hope that gives everybody an idea of just how much you can push the unit. I mean, I'm over to the left. I'm in the middle. I'm hitting different, you know, degree wedges. I'm flopping it. Um, we're bumping, running it, doing everything. Um, I'm getting appropriate spin depending on the strike, and obviously depending on how the ball is lying. Um, 
comment below. Let me know what you think. And we'll keep trying to, you know, pump out some different videos just to kind of show you guys uh, the current, you know, reading of the Mevo Plus, uh, at least in my environment. And let us know what you think.